Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Stella Chrome and Common Folk, and I'm going to stamp. I've started off with Neltix Formula 2, and here's the beautiful Stella Chroma, Stunning Folk, and I've topped it off with Posh Top Coat. I'll be using this Hee Hee Plate 027 and my Conad Stamper and Scraper. I'll be stamping with Pure Ice's Silver Mercedes. Now this is a Harry Potter manicure. The polish is from a Harry Potter collection and the stamping plate is also a Harry Potter plate. Today I'm using the Slytherin plate. I figured it would be appropriate so I'm just using all the different images off of it. I'm going to use all four of the big ones and then I'm going to use the Slytherin um, house, I guess, coat of arms for, um, you know, my accent now. It's going to let more of that Stella Chroma polish jump out. It's not going to cover it up too much. But this was a beautiful, beautiful polish and I was so excited to do this. And there are more coming because if you saw my haul on the Stella Chroma polishes, I bought all of them. So there's going to be a lot of Harry Potter manicures on its way. That image didn't pick up so well, so we're going to give that one another go. It's just, you know, um, I'm a little hard on things, so I think I might have pushed down too hard. And I think I'm going to do it again, but at least this image, I'll be able to use it. So it's a little warped and wobbled, but, you know, what are you going to do? You're just going to keep trying. So we're going to give that one a third go. I'm going to try to scrape it from a different angle and see if maybe... It's a scraping issue. Just proof people that, you know, people that have stamped for a long time still struggle with it. So not perfect, but it's on there. Yay! <laughs> sometimes it's your polish, sometimes it's the plate, sometimes it's the scraper, the stamper. You just got to keep playing with it. And here we go for the Slytherin image. I was just so so stinking excited to do this one and I'm looking forward to doing <laughs> some more <laughs> lined up and I did put this manicure on both hands so at the end you'll get to see swatch photos of this many on um, my longer nails and my shorter nails get up get some of this extra off. I'm glad this one's going on my pinky because I'm getting rid of a lot of the extra image. So there we go. Ta-da! And I'm just going to go ahead and show you pl me plopping this on my other hand as well. I really do like it when a manicure comes together and I like using different images on all the, all the nails, so a plate like this that has five solid images is just great because then I can mirror it on each hand. You know, I can have the same same manicure. And that one got a little wobbled, so we're going to give that one another try also. Just because you pick it up doesn't mean you have to follow through and put it on your nail. Just keep doing it until you like what you're seeing. And there we go. Turning my paper towel around. It's getting a little wet from the polish scrape off. And you could use any polishes. Any any you know, when when I do manicures, if you don't have exactly the same polishes, use what you have in your collection that's similar. If you want, if you really want to, you know, duplicate something that I do, because I know not everybody has access to the polishes sold in the United States, and you know, like that pure ice polish that I'm stamping with, it's no longer available. Um, you know, so just find your favorite silver and and you know, go with it. Here we go. Get get back in frame. We're just plopping along here. Getting some of that excess up because I definitely don't want that in my design. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Pardon me.
I remember when I got these he he plates, I was just so excited because there are so many great images on them. And now I'm getting to play with them, so I'm really excited. So I've done a little bit of cleanup on my other nails, and I'm going to show you how I did that. I'm using the tape to get up as much as I can. It just means less time that my fingertips are exposed to the acetone, which I will use because, you know, I'm not getting it all up with the tape. I'm getting a lot of it, though. So I'll be able to do just a quick little swipey woo and get her cleaned up. Of course, I say quick. That's, you know, I'm not really that quick. I'm trying to be thorough and I don't do quick and thorough together very well so there we go ta-da I'm gonna top this one off today with posh top coat and seal that design in so that I can enjoy this manicure I've already top coated the other fingernails and I am capping my tip help extend that wear and I think I'm gonna show you me doing two of them yep here we go we're gonna do that one too And I'm being rather generous with the top coat, um, just because that's how I do it. So there we go. Ta-da! There's the thumb. And here are my swatch photos coming up. We're going to have it on the short nails first, and then on my long nails. I'd love to hear what you think about this manicure. Leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.